Hello, hello, hello. So today on Minecraft we're going to be doing something a little bit different. And we're going to be doing an ASMR video. I have turned it to peaceful, so there should be no nesty mobs or... But we do have cave sounds. <laughs> so let me just make sure the balance is normal. We do have cave sounds. The uh, peaceful has been turned on. Well, it's not really. Um, I also turned on the uh, bonus chests because those, I think, will add some nice surprises into this game because it's not really going to be a vanilla Minecraft, but it'll be um, something pretty interesting. I do hear a lot of water sounds, and I believe that it is from, haha, a cave. So we will go caving, and we will farm, and do all that fun stuff, we'll just be doing it without uh, the monsters, because, as I said, this is going to be ASMR. Mm -hmm. Not too bad for a first loot. A stone pickaxe, a stick, very nice, very nice. And why don't we just take you along with us? Free torches. Anything that's free is going to be very nice, very nice. Let's get away from that water sound, just for now. But, look at this. We have some horses. Pretty guys already. We'll have to come back for you, because unfortunately, I just have nothing to, um, to ride you with, so... I will come back to you. But, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find a nice place to start our house. And we're going to do that by first getting some wood, and we're going to try and get a sapling in here somewhere. Ta-da! Okay. So now we can start our crafting table things. I did get a new microphone. Finally, finally. That's why I'm able to bring you <laughs> such high quality audio. Well, we have yet to see if it is high quality or not, but we will go ahead and grab a wooden axe, because I'm not, and we have a sapling, so we're pretty much good now to just go off and find a nice place to start building our house. And I'm going to try and keep it small. Hello, pup. At least for now. Maybe later we'll get into some really big buildings. But for now, we're going to uh, keep it kind of small. Some more horses around here. That's lovely, lovely, lovely. There's a lot of beauties down here. I like this one. Or that one. One of those shall be my horse. But, that's not for a little bit. For now, I'm going to walk over here, and we're going to see if we can't find a good old comfortable biome to build in. Just to get a little bit away from spawn. Squiddies. So, seeing as this is an ASMR, and it's supposed to be a uh, light tingles and giving you those excellent sensations, I'm going to try and keep it uh, somewhat non-violent, just so that there's no, you know, screaming or death involved, because that would be very, very unfortunate. Do we have some lovely cows? Oh. Uh, now that being said, we will have to... Ooh, now that's pretty. That is very pretty. If this opens up into water, I think that I will make my home. 
I think I'll make my home right here. We'll have the mountain in the distance. Maybe we can add a beacon up there. But for now, let's go ahead and just make a humble little home. Gonna have to do a lot of terraforming. Some people will say that they like to keep the original look to Minecraft, and I do agree with that at some points, but there are definitely some times when terraforming and just making the environment fit to what you have in your mind, um, it just ends for a better experience for both the YouTuber and the YouTube listener. Breaking all of the mushrooms. So I was actually inspired to do this ASMR type play of Minecraft um, by kind of two people. Uh, first, we have to give credit where credit is due to the person who introduced me to ASMR as, you know, because without my knowledge of ASMR, I wouldn't have found our, you know, my second um, inspiration, I guess. Um, but that first inspiration came from my, uh, my girlfriend. Uh, she introduced me to some ASMR and then, uh, Soon afterwards, I went and I started looking up ASMR videos on my own. Um, and after a while, I got kind of bored with just the ASMR that you normally see, where it's the uh, scalp massages and, you know, talking and therapy and all of that. And I wanted to get into something a little bit more uh, to what my hobbies and interests were. And I found an excellent YouTuber by the name of ASMR Nerd. Or I guess I should say it as he says it, the uh, ASMR Nerd. And I've been watching his Minecraft videos, and after his Minecraft videos, because unfortunately they are few and far between at the moment, I started watching some of his other... Um, Pokemon videos where he sorted his cards and played the Game Boy and talked about magic. So I would really like to get some uh, maybe co-op in. Either we can have a magic game together or we can play some Minecraft. I think that would be pretty fun though to play magic together in a whisper tone because that isn't necessarily a card game that most people will be whispering when they play it. But all that's in the future, so we have to start on our house now. Plop down. I want... I'll put it where we chop down our first tree in this new land. Let's make some sticks with these guys. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make one, two, three, four fences. And now we're going to start on our, well, I'll make some other things as well. I'm really looking forward to, um, putting this video out there because, you know, like I said in some of my previous videos, Minecraft isn't uh, necessarily done all the time in, well, barely ever in an ASMR style, and it's something that I would kind of like to be a part of and watch, you know, grow over time. Sun is setting. There's no need to get a place to, uh, live yet. Or at least not incredibly soon. But I'd like to start out our first house kind of in the water, because we are in a swamp biome and it's going to be rather flat. 
So why not take advantage of all of the resources that we possess? Well, I should probably not build like a noob either. This is going to be a, a series where I plan to show a lot of the building processes because I'm not a very good builder, um, especially not on camera. Uh, and I would like to practice, and I think that this would be a, a really good place to do some of that because it's an area where I can just come and, you know, relax and not really worry about creepers blowing all my stuff up and you know, I'd like to do some pretty interesting things with um, the lighting, where it kind of gets dark during the, the night in some of these places. After the first day ends, I'm going to um, switch the game mode, or not the game mode, but the game rule, a couple of the game rules, to uh, mob spawning false. That way, we can turn the um, just normal kind of survival stuff of Minecraft on, where you need to worry about uh, your food intake and, you know, your stamina. And Well, I guess it's really only stamina. But um, a mod that adds in thirst, that would be something interesting to put on here. I think that I would like that. So that is something that I might invest uh, some time in in the future, looking for a good, a good mod that adds in thirst and maybe some other food choices and some um, just some other elements to Minecraft that would kind of go along with the way that um, an ASMR video would go. What do you think? Should we keep it like that? Maybe we can add some fence gates, right, or some fence uh, posts. But uh, we'll see. We will see about that later. Oak is kind of a staple in every uh, Minecrafter's, well, experience, really. It's used in building, and it's most of the time the wood that people will farm for uh, their tools and sticks and torches. Although uh, there is a, a movement that's trying to go on um, where people are wanting to head more towards using the uh, jungle wood, because jungle wood is kind of not really a block that most people will use in a lot of their builds, um, and in a lot of decoration. There is, um, one YouTuber, uh, Vintage Beef, who exclusively, almost exclusively used jungle wood in his, uh, villager island haven, I guess you would call it. Um, but that was on the Mindcrack server. And it was on, uh, kind of distant. Uh, well, it's not really distant. I I don't really know what I'm saying at the moment. <laughs> Although, when do we ever? This might be a fun series to do a lot of user questions to, and I'm trying to keep away from the, uh, you know, what are the specs of your computer? How do you, um, you know, record? Because that's stuff that you can find out on your own, pretty much. We are going to move this crafting table to our uh, little platform in the water at the moment. And we'll put some torches here. Oh, excuse me, I still have some settings from uh, my single player. So let's turn the brightness down to moody, moody and smooth lighting to to a minimum. That way we can get a lot more of the kind of just dark kind of lighting because we don't have to worry about monster 
creatures spawning everywhere. And I would, I would like to do, kind of do some of that. So this is going to be kind of a humble beginning to our, to our house. I would like to open it up a little bit more in the future. Um, but at the moment, I think that this will turn out pretty lovely. Why don't we just go ahead and make all of those, because it's not like that we are in a uh, shortage of wood or anything. Wood is a pretty renewable resource. Put the last of our torches there. And where should we put our crafting table? I think our crafting table would go nicely right there. We'll sort of have a, a window out onto the bay. And we'll cook that up and um, we'll have a nice view of the mountain from here. Very nice, very nice. Those are mushrooms. But uh, what I want now are sticks because I want some more fence posts. The fence posts... No, not a trapdoor. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm like that dog. I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. Eight. Clicky that eight times. Put you guys away. And let's go ahead and combine these sticks with those sticks. So we will do one, two, three, four again, and leave the rest of these sticks for uh, some tool purposes. Because our wooden axe is almost at its, uh, at its end. There we go. I said this is going to kind of be a humble beginning but hopefully we will be able to make the series grow into a, uh, a really nice and big uh, just building experience there are going to be a lot of people that uh, want me to just jump cut to you know where the builds are just automatic for now, I, I really want to try just going it this way, where we build pretty much everything and I ramble on about some meaningless topic. <laughs> Hopefully it's not meaningless in the future, but I would still just like to get some experience in with making builds look nice and putting up the home front. This is going to be a beautiful view of the sunrise here. We've got our trees off in the distance. I probably will clear out that so that we can get a better view of the horizontal water because I think the back where we have the mountains slowly becoming light and their mysteriousness kind of fading away and I think it'll be quite nice. I think that it'll be quite nice. I do want to get some glass in here for the window panes because even though we, whoops, even though we don't have to worry about mobs spawning everywhere, I still, it's nice to have, you know, just a hunk of glass every now and again to give it kind of a, not really a homey feel, but, um, well, yes, a homey feel. I guess this is going to be our home for a, uh, at least a good, good start of this Let's Play. And I will have to go and collect more wood, because I seem to have run out. Yes, we'll get the wood. So I 
hope that everyone watching has, has had a good day. And I know that um, I like to watch these ASMR videos maybe when I haven't had such a good day and I just need something to uh, kind of relax and just, you know, or I can forget about everything that had happened at, at work or at school and just kind of, you know, there goes my axe. But when I could just kind of relax and let the ASMR voices kind of take me away. One, two, three, four, five should be good enough for that, so we get 20 of these. If you have suggestions um, about what maybe we should do as a, you know, ex fun experience, uh, or maybe what we should um, go and build. I would love to hear kind of your ideas and, well, why don't we move this chest? Just, we'll move the chest over here. There we go. And then we can put our furnace there. And maybe we'll have uh, an anvil and a, uh, a little bit later we'll put a brew station or a, Maybe even an enchanting table. That'll probably come first. So, for now, we want to... Well, the uh, house is pretty much finished up until the point where we need to go and... get some stone so that we can... smelt up some glass, so... There is really no uh, need for me to keep the golden apples around. Um, I could, uh, or I mean, to make golden apples and keep the apples around. I could make the apples and, uh, you know, eat them if maybe my uh, hunger got too low. Hello, cows. How are you today? But uh, I think that I would rather have the gold for decoration or um, just some, you know, like rails and power rails. Well, that's really all that it's good for. Or it might not be potions. I, I don't know how I'm going to work in the potions, but uh, believe me, they will get in there. They will definitely get in there. I really hope that this mic sounds good for you guys, because I, I spent quite a pretty penny on it. <laughs> it was a, a very pretty penny indeed. But it's a uh, top-notch USB microphone, so that I don't need to go into any sort of uh, sound box to... Goodbye, cows. I will leave you in peace. I promise. But I don't have to necessarily uh, plug up to any sort of editing software or editing devices. I do want to keep the lagoon somewhat unterraformed. I will remove um, these guys, however, because this is going to end up all going away. And I would like to see what's just, what's on the other side of this. Very deep ocean right there. Very deep and some nice plains over there. Tweet, there's a bat. Let's mine up some sand here. Eventually, we'll go to a desert and we'll um, use the desert as sort of our uh, sand mining place, like our sand quarry. Uh, but for now, I'm, I'm alright just walking this distance every now and again. Sand and glass. Ah. 
the rustling of the grass. It sounds so nice. I really like this text. Te if I could speak, I really like this texture pack because it's it gives sort of a a rustic or a um. Well, I don't know if it's rustic, but kind of just a tailored view to Minecraft, where it's you know yours and. This is a very nice, um, I really like the way that the, uh, furnaces look. Very nice, very nice. Ah, uh, but glass. I want two pieces of glass so that I can put them, because I'm not sure how the, uh, window panes, I think, uh, when they're up against a pole like this, they don't exactly adhere the way that you want them to. But, um, we shall see. We shall see. Maybe we'll have to place that with a cobblestone or something. But for now, it's just going to be uh, placed like that, and, and we place like that, on this side at least. And we'll test out the rest of the pane and glass over here. So we just need three more so that we can make some paned glass. And going to try and terraform a little bit. Maybe we'll bring the water a little bit closer to the edge here and flatten out over there. That is definitely getting flattened out so that we can wade through the waters. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. We've gained some experience. So come here, crafting table. Let us craft up some new glass some pains. All right. Now, how do you... That's just what I was afraid of. But, um, we might be able to get something done with this. Maybe. I might be able to even, uh, use iron bars. That might uh, the only thing is, I'm not so sure how it'll look with the, uh, the rest of this, um, wood, the iron. So maybe we'll try that out. My headphones are, uh, are not staying where I want them to. So, we'll put some glass there. And, or do iron bars even? This will show you how much of a novice builder that I am. I don't even know if iron bars will sort of, um, what's it called? Will they, uh, affect the way that all of this, uh, this nice glass pane looks? Will they wrap around with them, or will they just not even be, be bothered with it? I hope that you can hear the, uh, the clicking of my keyboard there, maybe. Maybe I'll, uh, Either put a second microphone down there if if that's something that you want to hear or not. Because in just regular Minecraft, it sort of is unprofessional to have the clicky noises. Um, or at least a lot of people think that way. I, for one, uh, really like the clicking noises because it makes me feel more connected to the YouTuber. But not, it's not a... It's not something that everybody likes, so I might change that in the future. Uh, but the ASMR, it's kind of attracting a different crowd where those clicky noises sort of, you know, appeal to them in a different, uh, ooh, this would be a nice place for a, a cliff, wouldn't it? Good doom, good doom. That cow is, is on the move. We're going to go just a, a little bit longer here uh, into the night. I'm going to wait until um, a certain time, which will remain unknown to uh, the vast majority of you. But... 
try and get some iron so that we can see how those glass bars will look when they're up against the glass panes. One thing that uh, doing all of this sound for YouTube has, has taught me is the, a new respect for those that do play video games and post comments because it is extremely hard to do. Um, I don't have any torches. <laughs> so this will probably not end well. We'll go out tomorrow. I'll get some resources and uh, we'll go out tomorrow and we'll hunt for some iron. That's what we'll do. But it's taught me a new respect for those that add commentary to their video games because it's very hard to sort of concentrate on the two things at once. Keep these reeds nice and uh, just the way that they should be. I will try not to run. As you can see there, I uh, <laughs> didn't really do a good job of holding back my sprint, but I just think that it'll be a better ASMR video if you're trying to tailor to, um, you know, a new crowd. Actually, that doesn't look too terrible now that I'm looking at it from a, a distance away. The edges on the glass kind of, uh, at least in this texture pack, kind of work for it. It's like they're a little window just opening to the world. But we'll still we'll still try it with the iron bars. And we'll we'll still see how that works out for us. So right quick before we go, I'm going to uh, just do a little bit of planting here. And oh, that must be clay down there. Well, we'll wait till we get a little bit more reeds to kind of uh, fill in the water zones around here. Little known fact. Reeds uh, will just stay put in water. I don't know if they'll grow, but that might be something fun to kind of watch and look out for. I'm thinking I want a balcony out here, so maybe we can get a balcony to work. But that will have to wait for the next episode because the sun has, has set in our lonely mountain off in the distance. It has become dark and the moon is on the rise. You can see the man in the moon there. So, un until next time, I will bid you adieu. And I can't wait to see you guys when we meet again on our Minecraft adventure. Have a good night, day, morning, or whatever time that you are listening to this. So long.